You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, this week's iPad app review is all about BlogPress. A couple weeks ago, I showed you WordPress and we got a bunch of email asking me to show you some uh, applications that will work for other blogs in addition to WordPress. And so we found this great application called BlogPress and it works with all kinds of uh, blogs like Blogger. So let's take a closer look at BlogPress. BlogPress is an application that allows you to manage your blogs, your uh, posts, and things like that, and you can work with more than one blog. Now, the cool thing, when I go in here to the settings, I'm going to say add another blog. You can see that not only can you add WordPress blogs, which we talked about a couple weeks ago, but this works with Blogger, and the nice thing about that is a lot of non-Blogger blogs use the Blogger API, meaning that even though it's not an actual Blogger blog, you could connect this to that blog, which is pretty cool. It's also, I want to see how many times I can say blog in a row. Now, the other thing is you have some built-in blogs. So you have MSN Live Spaces, WordPress, Movable Type, TypePad, LiveJournal, Drupal, Jumiad, Tumblr, and Squarespace. So all of these are supported. And so uh, it's really, really simple to set something up. So you just choose the type of blog you have. Let's say it was LiveJournal. Then it's going to ask you for your username and password, and then it'll go ahead and connect. So if you're uh, not really tech savvy, you just want to connect something to a blog, this is an application that will help you do that. Now, I already have two blogs set up. It's the Matchstick blog and our Snap Factory blog that we've shown you a couple times. Now, let's look at these settings a little bit closer. The first thing it's going to ask you is what is the default blog? Now, I have Snap Factory as the default blog. Now, that's important because when you create a new post, by default, it's going to go to your default blog. The cool thing is you can make a post that goes to all of your blogs simultaneously. I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. Also, it's going to ask you where you want to save photos so that when you have photos that you're posting on your blogs, exactly where do you want to save those. And so based on each blog that you are uh, you can go in here and change preferences for each blog. You can tell it where exactly you want to save your photos or you can add a photo album. Um, you can even upload videos and so you can add a YouTube account. This has some features like you can geotag your posts. You can automatically have posts show up in Twitter and on Facebook. You can add a blog signature. So if you have a signature that you want to put at the bottom of each of your posts, you can add it there. You can change the editor options and how that works. And then also you have support here, uh, frequently asked questions, and you can go straight to the developer. So this is really a well-supported application if you need help. Now, once you have all of that done, and again, it only takes a couple seconds to set up a brand new blog, uh, we can go in there. So I'm going to go into Matchstick because this is a uh, blog that we showed you before. And it, the first thing it will do is it's going to go in and it will pull in all of the posts that are uh, on the server. So right now I'm going to go in here to the big announcement. So these are HTML tags. If you're not familiar with them, you don't really need to worry about them too much. Just avoid changing those. If you want to know more about them, you can buy it. There are tons of books at most bookstores that will teach you HTML. Now we can go in here and uh, I'll go into an, another blog entry. This is one called uh, Mark Wallace, Who Are You and What Is Matchstick All About? And you can see that here we have another blog entry that we can edit if we need to. Now if you want to create a brand new post, just go down here to this uh, Create New Icon. I can uh, type in a title. Now, normally the keyboard will pop up. I'm using a Bluetooth keyboard to make this a little bit easier on myself. So I'll type in a title and say, this is my title. And once I have that done, I can go in here and I can actually start typing uh, my post. So this is my blog post. Um, this is cool. Now you notice that when I'm typing this, no HTML shows up, which is really neat. So the HTML is only going to be showing up for things that you bring in outside of this application. If you do want to edit the HTML, you can click on this HTML button right here, and you can start inserting HTML. So if you want to uh, create something like a uh, hyperlink, you can push this. It's going to ask you what the link is. I'll say www.snapfactory.com. And the, uh, the text that I want it to show up is my website and you can choose to put that in a new window or not. Then I will say done, and there it is, HTML pops in. So if you're not familiar with HTML, no problem. It has a little HTML cheat sheet right there. Now, once we have that in there, let's say I want to add some uh, media. There's a little camera right there. So I can go in here, and again, I can just go to a saved photo and click that, and then that's going to bring it in right there in my 
uh, post. And when I tap on that, you also can see that you can change the thumbnail width and height. You can make sure it stays in proportion. You can change the alignment. Um, you can even uh, link to a full size uh, image if you want, or you can remove that. So it's really, really easy to uh, post different images. And once that's in there, you can keep typing along. So we'll just go down here and I can say this is more of my post. And it's about that easy. Now, once you have that all done, you can hit save and you have all of the, uh, the options that you would expect. So you can publish it right away. Now this isn't uh, finished, so I don't want to publish this to my blog. So I can save this uh, and preview it. I can save it as a local draft. That's great if uh, you're working offline and you don't have a connection to the internet. You can save it as an online draft, which means it goes to your uh, blog, but is not public or you can save it and create a brand new one. So if you're cranking out posts, uh, maybe at a show or you're a journalist or something, you can really uh, quickly do that. So I'm gonna say save and preview. So this is going to preview this and now I can look and see what this would probably look like on my blog. Now it doesn't have all my style sheet and doesn't have my blog's theme, so it's not exactly accurate, but it gives you a close look at what it would probably look like once everything is done. So I'll say done. Now I can always go in here and hit save and I could publish it if I want, or I can do something else like discard. And up here you'll see that I have a local draft called this is my title. Now if I want to, I can just swipe that and hit delete and my local draft goes away and I can go in here and edit any of these other things. Now one of the differences you'll see between this and the WordPress app that we showed you earlier, this is not WordPress specific. So your comments and pages you're not um, able to update those from this application, but everything else is fully functional just like the WordPress app. And this will allow you to do things on more than just a WordPress app, which is really, really nice. And it's very, very functional. Now let me show you one more thing. If we have a new uh, post and right now it's going to go to the Snap Factory blog, I can hit this right arrow and I can select as many blogs as I want. So I could have eight or nine or 10 different blogs and save when I publish that, that will publish it to every single blog I've selected. And so you could post to a blogger, uh, a WordPress site, um, a, a Squarespace, all those different types of things right from one application, which is really, really nice. And that's what set this app apart from other uh, blogging apps. Well, that's BlogPress. It's not a free app. It costs about five bucks, but it's well worth the money if you're updating your blog on the go. And because it's compatible with all kinds of different blogs, it's really, really a stellar application to install on your iPad. Well, thanks so much for joining us this week. Remember, we'll be right back here next week. I hope to see you then. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.